All right, so I want to get the fuel issue fixed. And so my brother had a good idea as far as using a compressor, blowing the air back in. And um, that way it pushes the fuel back out. But I don't have a compressor. Um, so I did find this. Uh, can you see it? So I figured, hey, maybe I can just pull it out to the end here. And uh, hopefully that will be enough to get it going. So I'm going to try that. See, hopefully it works. Pretty easy pickup. It's less than 20 bucks. So if it works, that's, that's perfect. And you could use this for other stuff too, you know. Hey, hey, come on. It's pretty cool. It has different uh, nozzles you can put on there. This side just sucks. Oh, oh, I, no are you help, are you helping Daddy today? Yeah, I help. There we go. Uh, Hopefully, I start disconnecting it and fuel comes out. Then I'd be really stumped. Ah. I sure brushed my hair. It's Yeah. It's not water in there. It's no water in there. It's no water in there. Okay. It's no water in the rocks. No water in the rocks. Ah, oh, man. No water. It's no water. It's no, no rocks in the car. Uh, I feel though if you get a, a screwdriver back here and just start it. I think it releases like the suction and then it makes it easier to pull but it's got this like nipple thing on here it makes it, it makes it kind of difficult but now let's see all right so now let's see if this works Trying to see if I can get this this deal to actually. Hopefully this works. I mean, I smell gas. All right, so I got shallow up there. Is Eric coming out of there? Do you feel the Eric coming out? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I've been using this thing for a little bit, trying to get to get the fuel out, but it's just not working. So unfortunately it rained, so you can see this pool, but I, I use a, a rubber mat to help with that, fix that problem. But I'm, yeah, but I'm trying to see, there's definitely only one line. Hello, my name's Tiger. And then I was looking on the back side to see if there was any uh, secondary line, but there's definitely not. My hands are wet. Everything looks okay. But the water is cold. Hey, can you stop yelling? Don't get water all over my mat, girl. Well, the water's cold. All right. All right, since that didn't work, um, I'm going to start halfway down. So I'm going to disconnect it probably here. Oh, where am I at? Probably here. And see if I can at least pump it to here. And when I can pump it to there, then why not the rest of the way? So I'm going to try that and see if that works.
All right. So no fuel to the fuel filter. Where's that guy? There it is. No fuel to the fuel filter. Oh, I think my next step is to go to that line. See if it's even coming out there. It's not coming out there. Then it's got to be that piece on the top. Alright, so the first thing, this was kind of pinching. So I was able to take a pry bar and kind of loosen this flange. Uh, so I think that will not be crimping. I think it'll be okay now with that piece. So after I tried everything I could with the fuel lines, trying to figure it out. Um, I texted my neighbor Stan to see if I could use his air compressor because going towards my brother's idea of pumping air through the line to try and get it to um, pressurize and, and push back. So we tried that with a compressor. We went down and got different bits from Home Depot and that didn't work. So then Stan even had a, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it basically it was a compressor but it, it pulled the air out sucked instead of blue air and so we tried that thing too that didn't work and so uh, then we decided well let's let's take the bed off and so that's what we did Stan help me that's that piece right now holy crap hold on this is heavy as fuck Sticking to my hand. Yeah, I got the gloves. Uh, do you have another set of gloves? Then you can inspect all the fuel lines. See if something's leaking somewhere. Yeah. Like right here, look at this. That's Oh, that, I was messing with that. I was trying to get the, uh... It looks so old and rusted, too. Like, what, is it this that you like? No, that was an old one. Oh, you replaced it. Yeah. I'm gonna try using this towel. Shit, Let's see what's going on. You're the man, Stan. Yeah, that's probably a problem or something in there. I'd probably take this line and just go right there. Is this a screwdriver right there? See that? Looks like it's pinched right there. See that? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you grab that thing right there? Then when we were done, we just set the thing right here if it's not working yet. Then you can keep working on it. It's still closing. Gates. Oh, okay, good call. I thought that thing would be so much heavier than it was. It's pretty <laughs> heavy, dude. But I didn't think yeah. two people would be able to do it, though. You know right, I mean? right. Hey, you can even paint this now, too. Yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. Green. Some of the worst idea. Dude, so you did all that while it was... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. It's been... Uh... Yeah, that's got to be for the fuel level. For the gauge? Yeah. Now you can check all the fuel lines out, see what you're doing. Yeah, I just finished a new fuel line, dude. See this? Can you replace all this? Yeah, uh, yeah, those ones. So I just get some more of this and just run it straight to the tank. I just cut that. You don't even need it. Leave it there. I get just get another from the fuel filter. Just run it straight into the tank. Yeah. Oh, it was 
was a nightmare. It was seriously a nightmare. with these lines it, they get like like a vacuum seal on it where it's like that's probably from all the second we were doing on it oh uh, yeah that's true dude see there's not even fuel to like right here like, yeah so it's actually somewhere over here <sighs> did you drop the tank up no uh, well, yes, but I didn't, I didn't look through the top, which I regret. I just cut this pig off? Yeah. Does that still look okay? What is this? Is this supposed? Is that rotted? This is probably like the the preliminary filter. Oh, okay. But that could have broken loose and clogged somewhere up in right. the line. So I bet you that's why. Ah, let's see what the casting looks like. Dude, if you got that through with it. Without <laughs> being moved? No, no, no. So we, we dropped it. Oh, okay. And then pushed it back up. Need a bit of light to see there. I'm going to try it. I actually have a spotlight. But, yeah, it was simple. Just get a line. I wonder if we could buy that. This Which piece? That, yeah. That, do you want a gauge, though? That's all it says. See, that's the float. And, uh, and then it connects to that, uh, like I said, that electrical lines. Oh, it's just the, the gauge itself? Yeah. I don't know if it even works. It doesn't. It might. It's supposed to have a piece of metal that slides back and forth right there. Yeah. So you just, you'll just have to watch your miles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I bet you that clogged up somewhere in the fuel line. This preliminary filter. And then just stuck in there somewhere. But no problem. We'll just take it out there and just run that black line all the way back into here. Yeah, yeah. But we will have to take this off and clean it because we want this line to seal it here so it's not letting fumes out. Isn't it, shouldn't there be a seal right here too? Right here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, how are your stretch? Horrible. <laughs> Dude, that's the first time I've ever taken a bed off. Me the too. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. You know, we could roll this forward and then just scoot this up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then that way we we have. Yeah, the brakes aren't on it. You holding on to something? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one's it. Here, I'll get out and push. This <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Things in front though, so we don't have to go too far. Yeah. Is it in drive? It's in neutral. Oh, oh. Maybe just check. Maybe just check. The key should be in it.
Is it good? Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah, it's just a gravel. Yeah. I'm gonna try to push on the cap. Stuff in there get sucked into the filter later. Good plug it. I just put a bunch of gas in there though. We'll just dump it into your gas tank. Or your gas can or something. Yeah. It'll be easy to take off right now. I wonder if we could take this off and get it to work like that. You think? Oh yeah, it'll work. You just gotta get some more of that black tubing and run all the way back here. So I think because it wasn't even sealed, you think? That wouldn't matter. No? No, because before it was just sticking in the gas can, right? Yeah. The seal is just so it doesn't let the fumes out. Dang. I think it got clogged up somewhere. Yeah, it was a shit. In that old line. Now you have a brand new, brand new line all the way back. Yeah. It'll be easy now with the bed off. I actually have quite a bit of lime too already. from there to here. Oh, do you have a splicer for that? I've got hose clamps. You need something to connect. Yeah. Is that the e-brake? Maybe. That's your brake. I don't know why this is here. It's random cable. What random cable? This? ground. How do you know? Chopper. Well, we're, well, this is literally going to nothing up there. They probably just snapped it off. Oh, that wire goes to nothing up there? Yeah. Is it, it grounded? 
literally goes right to the battery. It's connected to the battery? No. Where is it? No, that's a, this one. Uh, this one right here. See? It literally just. Huh. They do have to ground. That's a ground. But what would they use it need it for? Ground the frame to the engine or something like that. Like this. Like that's to the engine. Yeah. And then you need some engine to the frame. You think that went to the engine before? Where is it? Hey, that's what I do. Get some pose. We'll rerun the fuel line. Yeah. Shit, how can we put this thing back? Well, I just pick it up and just set it right here. And then it'll be inside the gate. Yeah? Yeah, the trash can is through the... Oh, yeah. I think we can turn it sideways. I wish that thing would roll forward just a little. I can go get a shovel and you dig it out a little bit more. I know, bro. Put it in the back. So now I have the bed off. We were able to, I don't know if you saw in the video, I don't know if you made it this long, uh, but if you did, we tried pushing the truck forward and um, that just wasn't happening. The, because of the rain, it actually sunk in the dirt a little bit. So ended up disconnecting the fuel line in the front and going back to the old school way and ran a gas can and actually um, just ran a gas can under the hood long enough to pull the truck forward and then so I could pull the tail um, the bed of the truck in far enough where I can close the gate um, so now what I'm going to do is fix all the fuel lines now that everything's off and fix anything I can that's under there now because I don't want to take it off again and once I put it back on I want that to be it so um, until I get like a full on paint job but so that will be probably the next few videos is going through uh, the back of this thing and just getting everything cleaned up and nice getting kind of mud dirt if I can fix or paint or whatever I can to the back that's what I'll be doing um, and as always watch by us auto garage um, my brother's got a great channel um, I encourage you to watch it and like and subscribe to my channel please and watch the other videos too um, 
and let me know what you think. Comment. Thank you.